Hello, my name is Melissa Preston and I am the author of The Big Secret, The Secret to Body Fat Loss and Long-Term Control. And in this video we are going to be making homemade butter. There is only two ingredients, heavy whipping cream and a pinch of salt. And depending upon how big of a container of whipping cream you get will determine how much butter you're going to make. I normally like raw heavy whipping cream but I have to go all the way across town to get raw milk or raw dairy products and I just didn't feel like it this time so I got the store brand. So we're gonna go ahead and mix it up normally I use a big black bowl but it does not film very well so I'm gonna go ahead and mix this one up and I know I'm gonna have to clean up the splatter but it's whatever. Um, some people like a food processor I find it very difficult to each their own so we're just going to mix this up. Okay, I have been mixing uh, for two or three minutes and it's at the whipped cream stage. From the whipped cream stage to the butter stage takes about another five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the video off because it's a little difficult to videotape and mix at the same time. So it's been about three or four minutes since the whipped cream stage and you can see where it's starting to curve. So we'll be a few more minutes. It's been two or three minutes since it started to curd and you can see here where it's really separating and the buttermilk is um, collecting at the bottom of the bowl. So you can see here the butter and the buttermilk has pulled at the bottom. That means we're ready and we're going to go ahead and start to strain it. Cheesecloth works best but I'm out so I'm just going to use a fine strainer and I'm going to scoop as much of the uh, butter out of the butter than I can and get it into the strainer. This is really difficult to do one-handed, so I'm going to shut it, the video off until I have all this moved over into the strainer. So I'm just going to go ahead and press the rest of the buttermilk out of the butter. And if I had a cheesecloth, I would just ball it all up and squeeze it out. But I got what I got. Okay, you can see that all of the buttermilk has been squeezed out. And it's not as dry as if I had used cheesecloth, but it's still pretty dry. And once again, this is pretty difficult to do one-handed, so I'll see you in a second. And here we go. Real butter, no chemicals. No chemical processing, just awesome, delicious butter. And of course, buttermilk. Thank you for joining me today and have a really great day.